Dry skin, coconut oil. Chat lips, coconut oil. Dry hair, coconut oil. Coconut oil just doesn't work for me anymore. It dries my hair out so bad. And I actually think that I'm allergic to it, so I've completely stopped using coconut oil. All heat is bad. Stay away. You should never use any form of heat or your hair will never prosper. So I recently discovered that my hair has been dry as shit for all these years because I just discovered that I have low porosity hair so my hair actually needs heat in order to help absorb product and remain moisturized. But the only time that I use heat is when I deep condition. I also rinse my hair in warm water. Now I know before I told you guys to turn your water faucet all the way to hypothermia code and that should make your hair flourish. But I've recently discovered that warmth and using heat is what actually helps my hair retain moisture and helps it grow. So the only time that I use heat now is when I deep condition. I told you guys not to use it before but now you can use it just when you deep condition. Hey everyone, I ran out of content, but I have to make a video because I'm trying to get that check. So I ran to the store and picked up this product. Now I've only used it once in my entire life, but this product is what has saved my natural hair. This is the reason why my hair has grown so long and is so thick and so curly. Like this product is everything. Hey y'all, so I know last week I was raving about this product, but it just doesn't work for me anymore. Hopefully you didn't run to the store and waste your money on that product because it's actually horrible. It actually over dries my hair. But everyone's hair is different, everyone's hair is different, so just because it didn't work for me and I wasted my money on it doesn't mean that it's not gonna work for you and it's gonna be a waste of your money. But I just wanted to come to let you guys know that it just doesn't work for me anymore, so I no longer use it. Hey y'all, so I ran out of content once again, but I'm still trying to get that checked. So I thought I'd tell you all about my cheap DIY extreme deep conditioning mask treatment. Now this is what has saved my hair and the reason why my hair has grown so long, it's so moisturized, it's so curly, like this is the reason why my hair has prospered. Now this video will be the first time that I'm ever even making this mask, so let me show you all the ingredients that I use every week for this mask. So all you need is your favorite conditioner. Put it all in a bowl and then mix it with coconut oil, olive oil, Jamaican black castor oil, grapeseed oil, rose hip seed oil, aloe vera oil, peanut oil, vegetable oil, and any other oil you could find, especially the oils that you've never heard of in your life. Now, if you don't already have these oils in your home, then just using a regular store-bought deep conditioner should be able to give you the same effects or just using a regular store-bought conditioner and just using one of your favorite oils should be able to give you the exact same results. Hey y'all, so this video that I'm gonna give to you guys today is gonna be about how I grew my hair long fast. Now, a lot of you guys have been wondering and ask me literally every day, how did you grow your hair long so fast? And it wasn't with time or it wasn't with proper care. Now, although I've been natural for eight years and my hair has pretty much been retaining length the entire eight years, it wasn't until this year that my hair became hip length. And that's because of these 17 overcomplicated and exhausting steps that I use every single day that I actually only do about three of, but I'm gonna tell you guys all 17 steps that you must do in order for your hair to prosper and grow long. Now, like I said, I only use about three of these steps, but you have to do all 17 steps. If you all wanna know how I grew my hair one inch in one day, it was by doing the hanging upside down method. Now, it's rather simple. All I do is I just hang upside down until I'm about three seconds away from getting a brain hemorrhage. And right before you get that brain hemorrhage, you sit back up. Now by doing this, it gets the blood circulating in your head as if it already wasn't circulating because if it wasn't circulating, then you would die. But this gets the blood pressure just circulating in my head and that's what causes hair growth. Now I know the last time you guys saw me, my hair was shoulder length and six months later today, my hair is still shoulder length, but trust me, my hair has grown and is so much thicker. It has grown significantly. And speaking of hair growth, Another thing that has helped my hair grow so long and so fast and get so thick like this is massaging my scalp for two minutes every single day. 
Now this is another method that gets the blood circulation going in your head which promotes hair growth. Now before I started massaging my scalp for two minutes every single day, like my hair was so short and damaged, like it just, it, I wasn't seeing any benefits or anything that I was doing helping, but I changed my diet, I changed my entire hair routine, and I started massaging my scalp for two minutes every day. And I don't think it was the diet and I don't think that it was the hair routine. I honestly believe that it was the massaging my scalp for two minutes a day. Because if, had I not been massaging my scalp for two minutes a day, my hair would still be just damaged, it would still be short, it still would just be thin, but the massaging my scalp is really what just made my hair prosper. And now, because I massage my scalp for two minutes every day, my hair is waist length. Hey y'all, so I know you all have been following my hair care routine for years and buying all these products and everything that I've been telling you guys to buy, but I thought I would post this video on how I ruined my natural hair. Now hopefully your hair is still prospering, still flourishing, but these are the things that I did to my hair that I told you all to do to yours that are the reason why my hair journey has been set back and I have to start completely over. But like I said, like everyone's hair is different, so just because I damaged my hair using the products and taking the steps and techniques that I told you all to do, doesn't necessarily mean that you guys' hair is going to be damaged too. Because everyone's hair is different. So you guys should still subscribe and still give this video a thumbs up and follow me on my new hair journey of Back to Healthy Hair. 